But like, I'm super excited right now. We got Trey songs in the motherfucking house. What's up, Trey? What up? Hey. Yeah, I, I got it down pat. Yeah, she, she do practicing. All other sound effects too. Yeah. Ooh, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. took it back. November was a big month for you. You had the two mixtapes, Let Me Hold That Beat 2, right. Anticipation 2. Mm -hmm. uh, the videos, Top of the World. You've been down there cutting hair in VA, yeah. doing concerts. Yeah. What's, what's going on? Let's wrap up and sum up those two projects first. What's, basically, what's the response in, with the so far with the mixtapes? Uh, you know, the people love it. Okay. You know, when especially because I've been doing it for so long. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, after a while, I guess you wouldn't expect an artist to continue with that strategy, especially in my lane. Uh, so it's all about gratification for me, letting my fans know I appreciate them and I wouldn't be where I am without them. So the two mixtapes, the, the whole month of November actually was about giving back for me. From the mixtapes to the charity show mm -hmm. on the 25th where all the proceeds went to my foundation, Angels With Heart. Inevitable, the, the proceeds are actually going to the charity as well. Uh, Top of the World video was the launch of a charity right there in Petersburg, Virginia. You know, where I was, mm -hmm. you saw me cutting kids' hair, like little girls got their hair done for free. We fed like 300 to 500 people. Trey love uh, kids. Definitely. Hey. We want your opinion on what's the best cities to party in? Yeah. Uh, Miami, Vegas, uh, Sydney, London. Sydney, Paris. that's a new answer. Yeah, I've never uh, been to Sydney. We're going, we're going. Johannesburg, soon. Cape Town, Africa. Yeah. Which South you Africa. have been to recently. Yeah. How was uh, that experience? Oh, it was amazing. Just oh, to man. just to go so far and, and to be shown the amount of love that I was like for the first time and go out and look and see that many nice. people. Would you say that was one of your most memorable experiences thus far? Uh, life changing, just uh to be able to bring my family out there. Right, right, right. Uh, my younger brother, my mother to experience that together and like that's really like a point where you feel like you made it. Mm -hmm. When you came back, did you have a different outlook on, you know, coming back to how our society is and how we kind of take things for granted and just everything? Like I mean, uh, it can it can definitely give you that insight if you mm -hmm. depending on where you are, the mm -hmm. things you experience, mm -hmm. wherever you are, mm -hmm. not only right. South Africa or Africa in general. Uh, just being being able to go so many places within this last year, just knowing how many people I've touched, knowing how many people love my music, love my craft. Like I've seen people grateful to have a hug that really don't like have three pair of shoes. You know, people that wait in the airport for like 24 hours and, and even and on in. It humbled you, yeah, it humbled it, an experience. It was like, my God, you know, and that's that's what that November was all about. Just being able to touch and go all around the world and feel that love, you know, I just want to get a love back. That's awesome. You know, it was your birthday. Yeah, you I've left her. that all out in November. You did. You're a Sag. How <laughs> I could you leave out? I said I had a crazy November. Exactly. Left my birthday so out, which was crazy. It was the 27th or the 28th. My voice is still crazy for my birthday. He was screaming. It's was the 28th. The 28th. I don't, 28th. I don't remember half of it. Okay. You don't remember? I'm just playing. What do you mean you don't remember? I'm just playing. I remember everything. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds it's better for the story. Oh. Like I was supposed to just let it ride. So um, you were city hopping. <laughs> Tell us the cities you hit. Ah, uh, yeah, I was here in New, in New York. Okay. I was um, I went to DC. I went to Vegas. Mm -hmm. Um, went to Miami. Nice. Uh, yeah. I'm back. Nice. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, but I'm still trying to have some more parties. Are you a person that <laughs> like celebrates their birthday for like a couple weeks, several weeks, or like a whole month long? Or? You know the dope thing about it is that my fans want to be a part of the celebration. So it's all month. So it it's, might be for two months. Yeah, like I might get a <laughs> gift for my birthday in January, depending on the city I'm in. So, uh, like fans been giving me gifts if they see me out since like the beginning of November. So. Uh, the love is, is crazy, so I guess uh, I'll let it live on as long as everybody That's else tough. will. We were gonna wait, but I mean, you're speaking on gifts and everything like that, so I think we have a gift for you for your birthday. Really? Yeah. yeah. I mean, come something. on, it's your first time on our right. show. Right, it's we're, only right. We, we show hospitality and love when we people do. come through. This, so, is, uh, this is great. Miss Styles is going to give you your gift. And, yeah. um, we got you some cupcakes, Chad. We're going to go yeah. to a break. Which song do you want us to play right yo, now? Yo, 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 and enjoy yo, your cupcakes. yo, yo, it's two cupcakes missing. <laughs> you know, Miss Styles is a little <laughs> greedy. <laughs> what else can we expect for you for 2012? Ah, uh, 2012. You know, I just, uh, I want to make myself a better person out here. You know, I want to. I want to touch more lives, I want to make better music, I want to make more money, I want to, you know, uh, just be a better man. And uh, 
I'm going. I got uh, actually Texas Chainsaw Massacre comes out at the end of 2012. And you're in it. Yeah. Acting. Yeah, Acting. Yeah, it's my first star role. Nice. So, you know, um, I, that was a great experience. Uh, shot that down in Shreveport, Louisiana. I was mm -hmm. there for like three and a half weeks. And, you know, it's something new for me, and, and I think people gonna enjoy the music. movie. I'm a horror fan. More, yeah. more acting to come. More definitely, roles. definitely. You know, music is my first love, so you could. You could. I have a question. I'm sorry. Did you last in the movie? You know, black people die in like the first ten. That's like the, so. That's the typical question. Everybody got to ask. <laughs> I that. need to know. You, you know, need you need to watch. Oh, <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, I'm gonna be touring, man. Just check me out, TreySounds.com. Single? Yeah. 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 We don't believe you. Am I looking in your eyes? You are looking in my eyes, but I know Deep that you're. What am I you, saying? You're saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say what you're saying. The camera, the camera's not lying. So right. you know it is what it is. Okay, so you're single. Hmm. What type of woman are you into? How could a regular woman, a regular chick, not a celebrity, you know, how could she get to you? Uh, how could she get to me? Yeah, I, kinda, I don't know, you know how she would get to me, but if she she got to me, she just if she got to you, right? Down, you know what I mean? What's down? Uh, down. You know, you down. You down for your for your partner? I am down. Yeah, down for me is though. You know, you willing to make me better. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta bring some added value to this thing. Okay. You know, we gotta we gotta uh, kick it on a lot of different levels. You know, uh, it's 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 the moments that are that are you know fewer that are, that are like kind of looked over that are most important. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, Small things. Yeah. So that type of stuff, it's a girl that can make me laugh. You know, sexy and sweats and the tea. Okay. You, you have to share a secret with us. We get everybody we interview yep. to share a secret. It doesn't have to be anything dirty. Okay, I'll tell y'all a secret. I got, and I don't even really want to tell nobody, but I got a cow lick right in my head. You know what that is? Yeah. Like when your head grow backwards. So my assistant, like every time we doing anything, she walk up and brush my head like the little spot. Cause if she doesn't, it's a ball spot. I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> that okay, now we explain. If it, if, she, if it doesn't, she, it look like a ball spot. That is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that explains. So you catch like, me in the wrong you light. You know what I'm saying? Right now? <laughs> I'm like, you damn, it's on another level. You just changed his hairbrush? Wait, hold I on. I feel like three bitches gonna walk behind you with some roses. So <laughs> well, who man. told you that? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's the Fifth of Time Mix Show. Jamie, love you, baby. Woo!